don't know the power of a reaction. There's been an awakening. Have you felt it? So, uh, the George Lucas apparently did a reaction to, uh, the rise of the Skywalker, the rise of Skywalker, uh, trailer, final trailer. Let's see what the legend has to say. All right, guys. Well, uh, do we have, is this the background that we're going to use? Is, is there a way we can do like a green screen? Can we bring in a green screen here, Jimmy? <laughs> he just follows me around with a green screen. You ever done a reaction before? Uh, yeah, I mean, I've reacted. Certainly. Oh, I, well, I reacted if he's never like this before. Okay. Oh, God. Oh, oh, there it is. There's my name. He sounds Check just like him. <laughs> and we're, oh, he dropped something. A plot. <laughs> Ray. Oh, what, what character development. What an arc for Ray. Huh? Jesus Christ, at the end of Empire, Luke had his hand taken off and Han Solo was in Carbonite. Oh, this is great. It's great because I didn't make it. Ultimately, uh, I'm not to blame. Oh, that's Rose. Said her sister died or something trying to throw a space grenade. And they saved a bunch of horses or something. <laughs> oh, look, it's Camino. Look at that. That's where all the cloners live. Oh, I can actually feel my life essence draining from me as I watch this. <laughs> this thing needs more Gundams. So you guys go. pieces just taking a shit on that. Hey kids, you ever see a you ever see a star destroyer come out of the ocean? Well you're gonna see it now. <laughs> give me about Jar Jar Binks. You say, oh this is stupid. Well you happy I'm gone now you don't have daddy to kick around anymore because this is what you get. What is that? There's oh look there's there's C Tree PO. There's a hair dryer as a robot. Not just a soccer ball as a robot, a hair dryer. Let's just let's put a dildo in there. Why not? <laughs> in my sag right in the Merry Christmas. You know what that sound is? That's the sound of a thousand executives just taking a shit on my work. <laughs> oh, look, it's desert. It's another desert planet. I wonder which one this is. How exciting. The saga will end. Thank God. Put it out of its misery. Oh, there's the space horses. Ooh, good. Thank God. Thank God they tied up that, that gem of a storyline. Oh, I'm so relieved they didn't make this. I'm so relieved. This makes Attack of the Clones look like Citizen Kane. <laughs> Take a lightsaber to the Saga's head and just cauterize that thing because it's time to put this to bed. <laughs> you know, I know the ending of this film. I'm going to spoil it for you. Spoiler alert. Here's how the film ends. Ready? At the very end, Star Wars dies. <laughs> well, I think my favorite part about the trailer was the beginning when it said uh, my name. <laughs> The Lucas film. That's about the it. whole idea of the hero's journey was you have someone who is leaving home for the first time into a new world and uh, they don't have any skills and they fail time and again. And I guess in the new series, they've rewritten the hero's journey to where the hero is already perfect at you know flying spaceships and uh, attacking the enemy and wielding a lightsaber and ultimately learns how to levitate not just one stone but like 30 of them. Which is helpful because then the crystal foxes can escape the uh, cavern. Right. I mean, you see what I mean? It's just, it, it's, it's absolute <laughs> And at this point, people have asked me if I would like to do more Star Wars. I, I was really uh, deeply hurt by the fan response to the prequels. You know, when those movies came out, they were very risky for me because they were more operatic. They were, they were more tone poems. It wasn't about dialogue or acting or logic. Or reason or any semblance of uh, traditional filmmaking. Hey, stop! Since the beginning of cinema. And uh, the fact that people, for some reason, didn't like that was very upsetting to me. So I just, uh, I'm out. So I think with this film, uh, Star Wars uh, has officially died. But I am still here. <laughs>
<laughs> Yo, man, this guy does a perfect George Lucas, man. <laughs> Yo, so I was filming lines. I was recording lines with Jamie Costa the other day, man. Real cool guy. He was telling me about when they did their round table thing with Tony Stark and um, him as Ewan McGregor, um, George Lucas, and uh, oh, why am I forgetting his name right now? <sighs> I don't know why it's escaping me. Uh, played the fly. He played the fly. Um, why is it escaping anyway? He was telling me how good. Uh, the guy is that plays George Lucas, but G the guy that did George Lucas apparently also did. Oh, God, why is this? This guy, I know you're all shouting it at the screen right now. Um, Jurassic Park cast Jeff Goldblum said it before I even get yeah. So he does both. I'm like, yo, man, they were like perfect. They were spot on, spot on. Keep more of this coming, man. Post comments down below. Let me know what you all thought. Get over to Collider and subscribe. I've also been a guest on Collider before. What's happening, Collider peoples? And if you enjoyed my reaction, hit the like button, subscribe, and share. 10 million subscribers! Woo!